Hello and welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to do the silt stitch, which is an easy two row repeat uh, that has a really wonderful texture and is very simple stitch. Uh, basically, uh, you're going to be doing uh, one row of double crochets and then uh, the second row is what gives you that great texture that pops out. And it's just a combination of single crochets and double crochets. So um, very easy Get and your yarn on your hook. In this case, I have a size J 6.0 millimeter crochet hook for the tutorial, as well as a Lion Brand Heartland yarn. So to get started, all you need to do is chain in multiples of three for this stitch pattern. So I'm going to begin with a total of 24 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four. So for row one, you're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, and four. Those skipped chains will count as your first stitch and then you're going to just simply work a double crochet in every chain to the end of your chain, however long your chain might be. So just continue on working that double crochet throughout the end of your chain. So once you've worked that final double crochet in that last chain of that row, go ahead and turn your work to start row two, chain one. That chain one is going to count as your first single crochet stitch for this row. Now you're going to work two double crochets in that same stitch, skip two stitches, and in the next stitch work a single crochet and two double crochets. Skip two, single crochet in the next, and double two double crochets in that same stitch. Skip two, work a single crochet and two double crochets in the next, and repeat that stitch sequence down the row. Skip two, single crochet, and two double crochets in the next. Skip two, single crochet, and two double crochets in the next. Skip two, single crochet, and two double crochets in the next. When we get to the final three stitches, and remember these are my turned chains, uh, my skipped chains from that beginning chain that we did. That counted as a stitch. So we're going to skip the next two stitches and in that turning chain, we're going to work a single crochet. We're going to turn our work and we're going to work row three, which is a chain three and that chain three is going to count as a stitch as our first double crochet. And now I'm going to work a double crochet in each stitch of this row. So just work a double crochet in every stitch. Now when we get to the end of this row, we've been working double crochets in every stitch. Remember that chain one that we did at the beginning of this uh, row previous. Uh, that counted as a stitch and we need to work a double crochet in it. So uh, that can be tricky for people um, because it doesn't look like a stitch. It is a, a turning chain basically, uh, but we will be, it did count as a stitch and we're going to use it as a stitch. So. We're gonna double crochet at the top of this last double crochet, and then I'm going to double crochet in that chain one that we did at the beginning. 
So that's all there is to it. Look at how this one row, this texture pops out. And with if you make this in two colors, it really does pop out a lot. Um, if you make this um, second row here with the single crochet and two double crochet stitch sequence um, into another color, it really pops out of your work. So it's a lovely way uh, to show texture with just very simple stitches. So really a two row repeat. Next row would be the single crochet with the two double crochets, skip two, and so on. So just go back and continue repeating rows two and three to your desired size. So you can see here that I've completed my sample piece. I completed 11 rows. And with that completion, you can really tell how uh, textured this stitch becomes and is, and how much fun uh, a two row repeat can really give you an interesting stitch. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Be sure to follow me on social media. You can find me at Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Uh, if you make any designs with any of my patterns, be sure to hashtag Nana's Crafty Home on social media so that I can see your creations. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And as always, have a great day, everyone. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.